This is Duke University. Imagine that you're out of school and you're being offered a salary of $70,000. And it turns out that you're the lowest paid employee in that company. Everybody makes between seventy dollars and $100,000. The question is how happy would you be? Compare to a situation where you offered sixty-five, dollars but you're the highest paid employee in the company. Everybody is making between forty-five dollars and sixty-five. dollars now, when you see both of those options side by side, it will be very hard to choose the 65 over the 70. But the fact is that if you took the 65, or you will never offer the 70, if you took the 65, you would probably be much happier. Why? Because you would compare your fortune in life to the fortune of those around you, and you would end up uh, deriving much happiness from being above everybody. Your happiness is not just derived by what you have, it's derived by what you have relative to other things. And only when they come into context, the comparison with the context, help us understand how much we love them, care about them, want them, willing to pay for them, and so on. And these things have profound effects. So for example, if you have a certain portion of food on a plate, which is very big or very small, the portion of the food on the small plate would look larger. And not only look larger, you will feel like you've eaten more, you're more likely to leave things on the plate, and you'll actually, uh, presumably if you keep on doing it, you'll be in better health uh, over the long time. Relativity is about everything we do. We can't do anything that is not relative. But it also leads us to a lot of trouble, in particular things like envy uh, our, and our happiness. Uh, because they are largely dependent by relativity, and it can drive us to do all kinds of things that we're unhappy with, particularly because it comes up with another ingredient called adaptation. And adaptation is the idea that we get used to things. So you move from a dark room to a light room, it takes you a few seconds and then you get used to the light. That's adaptation. Our system adjusts to a new level of stimulation. <clears throat> so here's what happens in daily life. You have an average size home in an average community and you decide to upgrade. Okay. So you move to a better neighborhood. You think this would give you a, a higher quality of life. But guess what? Soon enough, you get adjusted to the bigger house in a bigger neighborhood. And you start comparing yourself against in relative terms to the houses next to you. You're happier for a little bit because you still remember your previous house. You compare yourself to what's easily imaginable and easily available in the current environment. And it's unbelievable to think that our happiness is not determined by what we have, but what we don't have, and that don't have state that is very easily imaginable. 